Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashen Leather. Black Shell Cordovan is the most popular Shell Cordovan color along with the Color 8 Shell Cordovan. We're gonna take a closer look at some Black Shell Cordovan today. Here's a preview of what's in the video. A Black Shell Cordovan Tony the Ant, a Black Shell Cordovan Apple Watch Band, a Black Shell Cordovan two-piece watch strap, a Black Shell Cordovan vault key holder, a Black Reverse Shell Cordovan vault key holder, a black marbled shell cordovan Johnny the Fox with a black reverse interior. A Johnny the Fox in English Tan Dublin. A Fat Herbie in English Tan Dublin. A Johnny the Fox in Cobalt Blue Dublin. A Fat Herbie in Natural Chrome Excel. A Fat Herbie in Natural Shell Cordovan with a reverse interior. A Fat Herbie in Natural Double Reverse Shell Cordovan. An Amaretto Shell Cordovan Tony the Ant. A Natural Lancaster Johnny the Fox, a Whiskey Shell Cordovan Frank the Enforcer, an Ultraviolet Shell Cordovan Tony the Ant, and an English Tan Dublin Valet Tray. All right, let's take a closer look at some Black Shell Cordovan pieces here. And I love the Black Shell Cordovan for how the light reflects off of it. It just has this really sort of modern and interesting look. Just the way the light bounces off this Black Shell is a really sleek look. And Color 8 Shell Cordovan, along with the black shell cordovan, those are the two classic colors. The color eight shell has become synonymous with shell cordovan. People often think of the color, color eight, when they think about shell cordovan. But black shell cordovan is actually more popular than the color eight shell cordovan. You can find this all over the world in different footwear, and it's a really sleek looking footwear as well. It's a little bit more formal, and I often see it in a lot of wingtip shoes. But I have it here on the Tony the Ant. Take a look at just how, again, like how the light reflects off this black shell. I think that is remarkable. On the outside, obviously, black shell cordovan. In the inside, we have more black shell cordovan. But in the center there, we get a look at the reverse shell. And the reverse side of the black shell cordovan is more of that greenish shade, which I really like. And I have a black reverse key holder here that I wanted to show you. And the reason I like the black reverse is I think it's a really interesting and random look. I think all the random die marks that appear on the reverse side of the shell cordovan are very, very fascinating. So I have this key holder going out today in the black reverse shell cordovan. And speaking of black reverse, I wanted to show you this black reverse interior on the Giant of the Fox here. Again, I love the random color of the black reverse shell. It sort of ranges from a forest green to like a tannish green, like you can see on the front right card holder here. It's a little bit more of a tan green and the top ones here and on the left it's a little bit more of that forest green and all the colors in between and on top of that we get all these random die marks the other amazing thing about the reverse shell cordovan is it gives us a great opportunity to show off that horween ink stamp on the inside and here's another black shell cordovan piece this is a two-piece watch strap and this one is in a 20 millimeter in our regular length we do a couple lug width sizes from 18 to 24 millimeters but we also do a couple of different lengths. So this is a regular length. We also have a shorter length if you have a more narrow wrist. But what I love about this black shell cordovan strap is not only does it look incredibly sleek and a little bit more formal, but we've put some additional details in the thought process of making the strap. So on the edges here, you might be able to see, sometimes these smaller details are hard to see on the videos here, but we've hand stained, waxed, and burnished all of the edges on this watch strap, which I think gives it a little bit more of a formal look. The other thing that's really great about this particular strap is the sections where the strap folds over, like the section here for the buckle, we slightly thin down the leather to fold it over there because I think when this piece is a little bit more flush against the strap, so it lays a little bit more evenly across your wrist, I think that just makes it even more comfortable. And on top of that, this is an unlined strap in the Shell Cordovan, and the Shell Cordovan is a veg tan leather. So what that means is you get an amazing ability from the veg tan to mold around your wrist. And to top it off, the reverse shell cordovan, the part that's going to touch your wrist, this actually gets smoother over time. So this, this unlined strap in shell cordovan, I think is about as comfortable as it gets. And here's another watch strap to show you. This is our Apple watch band. Again, in that amazing black shell cordovan, it has a really modern look. This one has a silver buckle, our silver hardware, these adapters and a silver buckle on it. But we also have it available in the black hardware like I'm wearing for this English tan strap. I suggest picking the adapters and the buckles that match your watch. 
So if you have a watch that is silver, you might want to pick the silver hardware like on this one. I think the silver goes really well with the black, but for some reason I always kind of like the stealth out look of black on black. Same story here with the unlined strap. These are going to age and get very, very comfortable just with normal use. And one more black shell cordovan item to show you. This is our vault key holder in that incredible black shell cordovan. And the way the light reflects off of all the curves on there, I just think that's sort of magical. The other colors reflect the light the same way, but there's something about the black that gives it sort of a modern look. And the vault key holder is very nice for holding. I like to hold six keys in it. I put three on each side. We have a lot of people that like to take one side of the screw post here and put a regular key ring around it. So the keys and the key ring stick out one side and they have three most popular or their most often used keys on the other side. And I showed you this black reverse shell interior, John of the Fox, a moment ago, but I wanted to show you the marbling on black shell cordovan. So take a look here. This is black marbled shell cordovan. And I know that it does not appear black at all. It's actually more of like a dark green, which is really interesting. There's some hints of orange in there as well. But the way that we marble the shell cordovan is you take a piece of black shell and you layer on the stains. And then to marble it, we slowly scrape away all of those different layers of stains, which is why we get this lighter color, a little bit more green and orange on the black marble shell cordovan. This particular Johnny the Fox is a little bit darker than some of the marble shells that I've seen. Uh, in particular on the black marbled, more oftentimes we see a little bit of a lighter shade here, but I thought this one turned out really, really well. Let's move on to some other colors and Horween makes a bunch of different colors of shell cordovan but the most popular are the black and color eight. This is a more recent color edition from Horween. This is a color called ultraviolet. And it's that really nice deep purple magenta color, like a dark magenta. And it kind of looks like a color eight at some angles, but other angles, it definitely reads as like a deep purple. This one has been personalized for JLPP. And here's the Johnny the Fox in one of my all time favorite leathers. This is the English tan Dublin. And I love this lighter brown, like a medium brown, with sort of orangey, vibrant undertones to it. I think the English tan is really cool. I've been wearing this exact wallet for almost 70 days now and documenting it every day in photos because I wanted to see how this develops patina and it's aging very nicely. I'm noticing the color is getting a little deeper, but the luster is also getting an additional surface brightness to it. You can see it starts off pretty bright here, but I've noticed the more I've worn it, that grain is starting to appear a little bit more prominently, but also the luster is just getting more and more glassy. And here's another Johnny the Fox in 100% Dublin, but it, this is in the cobalt blue Dublin. And this is one of two blue shades that I carry. And this one again is in the Dublin leather, which is a veg tan. So it's gonna give you that great molding character like we talked about on the watch straps. I really like it in this cobalt blue because if you look at the, at the spine of the wallet, whenever you flex it and mobilize the waxes that are finished onto the surface of the leather, we get a look at that really interesting aqua blue underneath. And with the navy on the surface, I think the combination of the two colors is very nice on the inside. This is what makes the wallet a little bit more special for us. And we have a couple left of these in the 100% cobalt blue. The horsehide interiors. This is a special leather that we had to get from Horween because of all the different layers of leather on the left side and on the right side. If we used our regular thickness, for the giant of the fox that we use on the exterior if we use that for all these different pattern pieces this wallet would just be way too thick so we had to get some leather custom made for us and that's what's come out on the inside of this giant of the fox again we have a couple of these left if you're looking for a dublin fox i recommend highly recommend either of these dublin foxes in the english tan or in the cobalt blue and i have another beautiful piece of english tan dublin to show you this one is on the fat herbie and just take a look at this really great natural grain character on the Fat Herbie. So a lot of leathers in the world these days are very heavily finished and like painted on with finish. So they start to look more like paint or plastic. And that's why I think the Dublin stands out. This is very much an aniline finished leather. So we get to see all the natural grain character in this leather. And actually of all the leathers I have, for some reason the English tan Dublin most reminds me 
of a piece of finished wood. Just like a nice stain coat on a piece of maple or something. Uh, so I love the English tan Dublin and the way that these wear in again are super nice because it's a veg tan. All veg tan leathers have a unique ability to age and develop a nice patina. And here's the shell cordovan color that most reminds me of the English tan Dublin. This is the amaretto shell cordovan. And I love these vibrant orange tones in this lighter brown. I think it's really beautiful. It reminds me a little bit of the English tan. The English tan is a little darker and obviously more grainy where the shell cordovan is just completely smooth and mirror-like finish. I think what I like most about the amaretto on this particular Tony is contrasting that orangeness, that orangey tan with a prominent and black ink stamp from the Horween Shell Cordovan ink stamp in the center. I think that ink stamp makes the orange look even more interesting. I have a couple different natural pieces to show you. And the first one here is a natural Chrome XL Fat Herbie. This one is our last one in stock, but I am making another batch. And the batch of Chrome XL that we've been cutting from to make this Fat Herbie is remarkable. Take a look at that very subtle sheen to this leather. It's very, it's very subtle as a, of a luster compared to the shell where the shell's more of like a mirror like finish. This one has a nice subtle sheen to it. And that's because there's so much wax and oil tanned into the chrome cell. We're seeing the reflection of those waxes. And then the other consequence of using such a highly concentrated amount of oils and waxes in the leather is it gives it a really, really luxurious feel. The Chrome Excel is an incredible feel. You can find natural Chrome Excel on all sorts of footwear in addition to these wallets. And it's very popular. I think it's the most popular color of Chrome Excel right now for footwear. And here's another natural Fat Herbie. But this one is in the natural shell Cordovan. And let me give you a difference. I'm gonna look at the difference here between the natural Chrome Excel on top and the natural shell Cordovan underneath. You can see the color's a bit more orange in the shell cordovan, a little bit more golden, which I find very nice. On the inside of this Fat Herbie, this is a natural reverse interior, and I love how the reverse wears in and ages. I think the reverse is a little bit more easily filled in when it becomes inevitably scuffed and scratched from all the credit cards inside the interior of the Fat Herbie. And here's one last natural piece to show you. This is another natural shell cordovan piece on the Fat Herbie, but this is a double reverse, and check out how sweet that looks. The shell on the exterior of this one is incredibly smooth, bright and shiny. And I love that the Horween ink stamp is sort of just peeking out of the bill slot here. And on the interior, we have more natural shell cordovan in the center, but we have the reverse on the left and right. This is why we call it double reverse. We show reverse shell and shell on the inside, as well as reverse shell and shell on the outside. And the last natural piece to show you, this is a leather called Lancaster and the color is called natural. So natural Lancaster is about as light of a color as you'll ever see leather without it being fully painted white. So there's a lot of sneakers that you might see that have been fully painted white. But if you get a look at the difference in the grain on those sneakers, take a look at how filled in they are on your shoes. You'll see that you cannot visually see through that finish. So you don't get any of this nice texture of the leather itself. And again, it's another one of those things where it's like, why would you bother to buy leather for a sneaker when it's more paint than leather at a certain point? So I really like the, the natural Lancaster because it's a, as light of a color as we can get and still remain uh, very grainy and natural looking. And here's another English tan Dublin item to show you. This is a valet tray in that very beautiful English tan Dublin. Sort of that light tan caramel color at some angles. And when you flex it, increase it, you can see a little bit more of these tan shades that sort of look like the unintended flush side of the interior of this valet tray. This is a new color offering for us on the valet tray. We also have black Chrome Excel, natural Chrome Excel, and color eight Chrome Excel. I use the valet trays all over my workshop here as well as all over my home. I keep my phone and my keys and my wallet in it. And at the shop here, we can actually keep a bunch of tools inside. And the last piece to show you today, this is a Whiskey Shell Cordovan Frank the Enforcer. And the Whiskey Shell Cordovan is a very rare piece of shell. It doesn't often get produced from Horween. And in fact, it's a difficult color for them to produce. And it's a little bit darker, a little bit more golden 
when you compare it to something like the natural shell cordovan, and here's that natural from earlier. Let's compare those quickly. You can see how much more brown the whiskey shell is. Perhaps a little bit more red in it, just a slight amount, and a little bit more yellow. So the whiskey shell cordovan is very beautiful. On the Frank the Enforcer, we've got a couple additional details on this one that I don't often talk about, but on these card slots, we've actually taken an increasing tool and highlighted the card slots. I found when making these without that crease mark, it just didn't have as nice of a finished look. So I really like the exterior card slots of all our wallets to have this sort of crease mark to it, which I think makes it just uh, a little bit more special. So thanks for checking out all the stuff today. I'm trying to figure out what my stunner of the day is. I'm gonna have to go back to this natural double reverse because there was something about this shell on the outside, just one of the most uh, amazing shells. It's a really nice bright surface, really glossy look to it. And with that Horine ink stamp peeking out the, uh, the outside there, I think this is my stunner of the day. So let me know what you guys were into. There's a lot of good stuff to choose from. And uh, hopefully your wallet is in here. You should be getting it soon. So thanks for checking it out. And until next time, have a good one.